Hey guys, Sasha von NetbookNews.com uh, with my Dell Streak or Dell Mini 5. It's almost a year old. Actually, the CPU is based on a 1 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon and uh, with the Adreno 200 GPU, I think. It's almost two years old. So, it has nothing to do with the hardware platform. What I would like to show you tonight, it's all about the software. Um, you might be familiar with this interface. That's the SPB Shell 3D, but that's version. 1.2. Um, we did already a little video on this interface over here with all these fancy animations. Look, at it's absolutely smooth. But you know what? That's not the new stuff. Um, let's go to the settings over here. We're going to home settings and uh, going to the screen orientation, setting it up to auto and Let's go back to the home screen and it's for the first time that you can use the SPB Shell 3D now in landscape mode which definitely reanimated my little Dell streak that came with this, I don't even know how this Dell interface was called, oh, Dell stage. I hate it, I tell you that. I've been using um, the Pro Launcher and the AWD Launcher uh, before that, um, but you know, this is really neat and as you can tell, it is just super fast. Look at this. Very smooth OpenGL animation, so good job. You know what? That's not everything. Let's go back to the settings again and let me show you a couple of features or maybe I should... Here we go. Home settings. And when we're taking a look at appearance, I can use 3D in application list. I can use a 3D edit mode. Um, actually, it is the first launcher that is going to support 3D wallpapers. That's not all. Let's go back and let's go down here to experimental. And what we can do here, well, first of all, we can switch on the stereoscopic 3D mode. But uh, actually, of course, my, my, my Dell Street isn't supporting this at all. But look at this, interface mode. So we have a smartphone interface mode and we have a tablet interface mode. Let's switch over to tablet. Go back. This takes a while. And now, okay, almost. <laughs> here we go so that's a new tablet interface of SPB of the SPB shell and I've been using it already now for two days and I'll tell you one thing it just I have a new little mobile internet device with my Dell Streak using the SPB Shell 3D 1.2. So it's, again, it's super fast. The widgets are great. Um, let me show you a little bit uh, what is so special about SPB. Uh, what I can do with widgets is, now look at this, I'm just holding it for a while. I can change the size of it and the appearance. See that? So that's pretty decent. It, it comes with a bunch of uh, widgets. And you know what? You can see all these little shortcuts that I have over here in this bar. Let's get a couple of them up here. Oh, come on. Oh, why isn't that working? Oh, here we go. That was the Google Plus bar. Okay, a mail and one more. So I really would like to show you what these guys did. For example, if I also change this, see that? that the icons are shifting as soon as you're moving a, a widget over to their position. Come on, let's do it again. Here we go. So that's very neat, right? And uh, let me show you a couple of these widgets. Oh, by the way, the new calendar widget Got a complete overhaul. Let's get into the calendar. Or oh, maybe I need to do it over here. 
Oh, come on. Why isn't that working right now? Oh, yeah. Hello. Presentation effect. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. Okay, let's go back. So now I can just flip through the different months. It's super smooth, quick, easy to handle as soon as I'm getting into daily view. Right, you can easily sync this with all your Google calendars. Um, here's another example of what you can do with these widgets. Now watch out. Okay. This is just for the screen brightness. And I really like that. Because uh okay, let's go back here. That works out perfectly. Some nice animation when it comes to pictures. Well, don't have so many nice pictures on here because actually the dark camera sucks big time. And uh, I'm not sure if you can't even show an animation of the messages. Here we go. See that? So this is all running absolutely perfectly on this, yeah, two year old or two years old hardware platform. We have a nice weather widget, uh, and actually you can also um, set it up that it's showing more cities. Well, I only have Taipei in here right now. Flick a picture of the day, and we have a kind of world clock over here. So, it works great on the Dell Streak. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the new features. You saw already the landscape support as a 3D edit mode, stereoscopic 3D which is kind of experimental and I can't test it because I think only the LG Optimus uh, pad is supporting this right now. Um, you can switch in between the smartphone and the tablet mode of course. Um, the overall design definitely got improved and um, you have a new bookmark folder, that's an uh, improved calendar panel. I've been showing this one to you. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a very nice device right now my Dell Streak and actually I've been showing this to a couple of uh, distributors over here in Taiwan and salesperson in the shops and they were asking me what kind of device it is and when they can buy it so, so okay it's already on the market it's all about the software so what I would like to show you right now here this is my uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab so a 7 inch device and okay I also put the SPB shell on here, and as you can tell, again, super smooth. And when I'm going into landscape mode, here we go. Huh? That's decent. You're getting a completely new tablet. Now think about all these guys buying a $100 ARM Cortex A8 1 gigahertz tablet somewhere from China with Froyo Android 2.2 and I'll go over to the marketplace or go over to the to the spb.com website download this this launcher it's like $14.95 hey I tell you what you have a completely new tablet experience and this is actually something that uh, even Froyo can't deliver right now oh, over here we can see the different cities, Tokyo, New York, and Xinjiang. Huh? Pretty decent. So this is SPB Shell 3D version 1.2. It's available on the Android Marketplace. And I tell you one thing, that's the coolest thing that you can do for your Samsung Galaxy Tab or your Dell Streak or your smartphone as long as it's running Android 2.x. I'm Sasha from NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.